Amid the recession, small businesses and large corporations alike had to find new ways to maintain a customer base and remain profitable. And local author Mike Whitney has a new book addressing the, the issue. It's titled, Are You Ready to Sell? Thanks for coming in. Claremont Thank you, County resident, yeah, it's absolutely. really nice to meet you. you. Okay, so what made you decide, I need to write this book and I need to write it now? The fact of the matter was the, the book had its genesis about two years ago, right after the Lehman Brothers crash, and which drove down the entire business-to-business -business, uh, marketing climate, sales. I knew a lot of the people who are in that industry. I have been in the industry virtually all my life. And I realized that there were rules were changing. There were, there were some new rules that were being uh, instrumental in how buyers looked at sellers and how they would apply those rules. So the title, Are You Ready to Sell?, really, really is, has to do with the new rules that are in play in business-to-business -business selling today. So what is the primary rule, do you think, that has changed and that people really need to know? The primary one, the one that drives so much in business business selling, is how can I do more with less? That is the mind of the buyer. How do I do more with less? How do I uh, maximize my profit, my quality level, uh, my number of people employed mm -hmm. to accomplish these things, uh, the return on my investment. How do I do all that with less, less resource? So that at the end of the day, that business to business company is a better server to their uh, supply chain that they, we all find ourselves in a supply chain one way or the other. My part in the supply chain here is to sell to of people who have an interest in B2B selling. And you know what, it, it, you're right, we do all find ourselves in this supply chain. In some way, I'm an, usually an end user. Yeah. Um, and, and it sounds like you're actually talking to me about how companies are trying to address me too. They know that I want a bargain. They know that I want to get more for my money. It's really kind of the same thing, isn't it? It is. It, at the business level, it can actually be quite brutal because if you cannot sustain your role as a company that can help their customers do more with less, you're out. You're yeah. out. You're out of the supply chain and somebody who has that ability is put in in your place. There's a lot to this and a, lots of businesses need to right. be taking a look at something exactly like this. It's the right time for it. How do folks get your book? Well, the folks can get my book at uh, authorhouse.com. That's mm -hmm. the uh, author, the uh, publishing company. And then they can also go to virtually any of the online bookstores or they can come to my website, uh, www.winningstrategy.com. Winningstrategy.com. We have some amazing local people around here. We really do. Mike, thanks for coming in, sharing a little bit about your book with us. We Great to be it. here, Tanya. Thank you. Drought conditions.